Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today we are going to solve how to or rather we are going to understand how to divide square roots or how to divide numbers which are having square roots with it. So one very very basic understanding you need to know is that whenever you have root of n divided by root of n that will cancel it its itself out basically it will become something like this n upon n so you get square root of 1 which is going to become just 1 okay and then if you have something like this if you have a different number divided by a different number you can directly put it under a square root okay understood this are the two basic rules for you to follow for these kind of questions also students do not forget in order to solve square roots you need to have a very clear understanding of squares at least up to 25 especially for if you are preparing for any of these entrance exams okay if you have that clear understanding then you can solve these kind of questions in matter of seconds okay so now over here we have 16 root 3 divided by 2 root 3 so just for one understanding we will have 16 upon 2 then we have a root 3 and then we have a root 3. Like I said, when you have the same numbers in a square root and divided by each other, you can directly cancel them out. And here we'll get 1s and 8s. So your final answer is just 8 for this particular question. Now over here we have 10 root 2 divided by root 2. So if you don't have any number in front of your root, you can take it as 1. Okay, so 10 divided by 1 is just 10 and root 2 and root 2 will cancel itself out. Okay, now this is very very easy to do. Okay, but now what happens when you have two different roots and we have something like this in picture. So for root 12 and then we have 7 root 3. So this is 1s and this is 2s. So you are getting 2. Now put 12 and 3 under, sorry, 12 and 3 under one root. Like I said, when you have two different root numbers under a root, you can directly put this as nothing but one big square root and the two numbers as given over here or as being divided. Okay. So 3 1s are and 4s are. So we have something like this 2 root 4. And root of 4 is nothing but 2. So 2 into 2, your final answer is just 4 for this particular question. Students, students, if you like the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button. Because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also students, if you remember when we were doing multiplication with square roots, we were trying to write down our answers in the simplest form. Okay, so over here also in this particular kind of situation when we are dividing numbers with square root, we are going to write down our answers in simplest form. We are going to write, see how. So we have 21. Root of 98 can be written as 49 into 2. 7 root of 21 can be written as what 3 into 7 okay so here we have what we have over here is 7 1s are 7 3s are so 3 into we have 49 which is under a square root so taken outside we get just 7 root 2 upon root of 3 and root of 7 now i'm going to understand i'm going to make you understand why did i split it okay because see 3 and 7 we have individual numbers over here and their roots are given over here okay so please understand this very very clear clearly root 3 uh, sorry 3 can be written as nothing but root 3 into root 3 similarly 7 can be written as root 7 into root 7 correct because when you are multiplying the numbers or square roots of the same number, you get the number itself. Okay. And you have a root 2 in your numerator. In your denominator, you just have 3 and root 7. Root 3 and root 7. So, this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. This root 7 and root 7 will get cancelled. So, your final answer will have a big square root of 3 into 7 which is 21 into 2 will get you a 42. Correct. So that is your answer for 
this particular question now you might be wondering why did i do that please understand if i had not done this so your final answer would come out to be something like this 21 root 2 upon root 21 okay so now understand this i at least in mathematics we do not like to keep roots in the denominator okay so in that particular scenario we remove the roots by factoring this further like we did over here or or i can also show you an easier method had this been okay let me do this over here if this was your question 21 root 2 upon root 21 and suppose you did not know how to factorize this further so what you should do is you just multiply by the roots again okay so when you multiply this over here we have 21 root 2 into root 21 will get you root 42 and root 21 and root 21 when multiplied by itself will just get you 21 so cancelling you will get 40 as your root 42 as your answer i hope this is now very very clear to every one okay now since there is lack of space i'll use this i'll do this sum in the next sheet students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy whose answers you can mention in the comment section okay so here now over here we have something like root there's a big square root first write down that square root and then start writing down this all these numbers in terms of in terms of um, like its factors we'll try first okay so root 72 it is a very it's an even number so first let's write down divide this by 2 we get 36 so now understand i don't want to factorize this further because 36 itself is a perfect square okay so i'm going to write this as as it is and then we have six and then we have root three and here six can be written as two into three okay so now there's a big square root root of 36 when taken out we'll get just six we have root two we have six and then we have root three now similarly this root two root of 2 into 3 can be splitted and we can write this as root 2 into root 3 correct so this will cancel itself out so we are now left with square root of 6 into 6 so any number when multiplied by itself and under a square root your answer is just going to be 6 okay so you saw how easy these things became this looks so complicated and your answer became so simple correct so now time for your DIY do it yourself so the question over here is there's a big square root in that you have a fraction and then there you have over here 32 into 2 and then you have square root of 8 okay so do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for now i'll see you in the next video